So I remember I spoke to Johnny Depp once and he told me that he finds it easier to get into a character when he can hide behind costumes. Yes. Do you have the same, do you feel the same way? Yeah, we have the same problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people go like, we employed you for what you look like, not to, you know, completely hide yourself. Um, but we're, we're, yeah, no, I, I want to dress up. I don't want to look like me. I want to feel I've escaped me. And then I watch the film and go, oh, it's me again. But this one, not that I've seen it actually, but it's sort of easier to watch because I don't, I really don't look like me. Cause my, you know, I wish I had special effects on every movie, um, but my head is definitely bigger and you can't, you know, it's a great look. It it's is. a mask, it's, it's a clown's face. It's, you feel that it's kind of therapeutic to get into this role because you can get so much oh, emotions anger. out there. Oh, yeah, it's completely therapeutic. I'm not naturally very angry. Uh, it's quite ha it's quite tiring to be continually angry too. Um, so it took a lot of um, sugar <laughs> <laughs> and caffeine, um, but it was definitely shouting. It's amazing that you don't have to pay for the therapy; you get paid for the therapy. So yes, it was therapeutic. Is it a little exhausting too? Because it, it's very it, it is exhausting. Uh, I mean, it's not it's not a great sub story because I got paid shed loads, but it is exhausting on the on the thing. It's more tiring than you think because also when you get angry and you lose it. Hello, Alice. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so do you have a wild imagination yourself? Did you always have that? I mean, the way you dress, you're very colorful and. Oh, thank you, darling. You have like your own style and your personality is like. Well, I imagine things, yes, I do. And then, unfortunately, then I'm presented with a reality, like I see a photo, well, I don't tend to, I try to avoid photos, but Tim um, still shows me photos of, you know, me dressed as, you know, and it's absolutely catastrophic. It's so different from what I thought I looked like in the mirror. Do you ever get that, you know? It's like when you see a photo, you go like, oh no, that's not what I meant at all. Yeah, I do imagine, but that's the fun bit. And with clothes too, in daily life, you can use them as costume and think, what you even you know i think they're a bit magical they can they can have the, the ability to transform you not necessarily totally from the outside but from it can elicit something else from the inside have you kept any of the costumes that you've worn in these i should have but the fact is sometimes you do get attached you know what i tend to keep and colleen lets me keep them uh, my underwear so i get the bloomers and then the camisoles and the red queen you never seen you never see that her underwear um but I, I've got the bloomers, and uh, um, and you want to keep something, and then of course it's more to do with letting go of the character, and you never wear it anyway. Is it hard to let go of the character? Sometimes it depends. It depends on your experience of the shoot. Sometimes you can't wait to let go, and sometimes you just they hang around for years. The other day Elizabeth Taylor popped up. I played Elizabeth Taylor, and I was going like, "What am I sounding like?" And you, you, reminding me of something. I said, oh God, it was yeah, it was Elizabeth Taylor. I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Pay to be. <laughs> That's great. You're amazing. Thank you so much.